Next news is out of West London. The Siachi Gallery covers up SKU artworks after complaints by Muslims. A leading contemporary art gallery covered up works featuring an Islamic declaration of faith after complaints from Muslim visitors who said the artworks were blasphemous. Paintings by SKU deemed blasphemous for combining Islamic text with nude images. The gallery decided to cover up two paintings that incorporated the text of the Shahada and one of the five pillars of Islam in Arabic script juxtaposed with images of nude women in the style of the U.S. flag. The head of the Islamic studies at the think tank Quilliam Yusama Hassan said the works were really dangerous, adding it's the satanic verses all over again. Wait, what? Dangerous? No, it's dangerous that you're covering them because that's an where 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 is this happening? This is in... this is in West London. So okay, at so the UK Saatchi Gallery. Okay, so in the UK. Wait, and Quilliam is saying that these the art is dangerous. Not Quilliam is supposed to be a pro-free speech organization and they're saying the art is dangerous not the fact that they're covering it up right they're saying the art is really dangerous what the hell quilliam um uh, is this the same quilliam that is majid nawaz works in that founded by majid nawaz is that the same organization that we're talking about or is that something different i mean it's got to be right i don't yeah. i can't think of two Williams. So really, like, I'm, I'm hoping that we're misreading this. Quilliam is saying the art is the art is the problem and not the covering it up. That's that's disappointing if that's what they're saying. Um, what? Why is it dangerous? Wait, and they, when they say this is the satanic verses all over again, are they suggesting that the satanic verses by Salman Rushdie, that was a mistake? what it looks like and, and mind you this is just this one guy Osama Hassan who's saying this but he is the head of the Islamic studies at Quilliam um yeah what the hell what the no no did the you okay we're losing UK okay one of the countries responsible for enlightenment values for which is the main one is free speech and freedom of expression has completely lost it okay they have completely lost it in, in the meaning of freedom of expression and uh, freedom of speech. Like, really? You guys think the art is dangerous? You don't think the fact that we're covering art? We're covering art because it's degenerate? You know, the people that consider art, certain arts as degenerate and cover them up or burn them? Do you know who you're sounding like? Do you think the art is there? You don't see the fact that we're we're deciding what's allowed to be seen and what's not allowed to be seen? You don't see that as a dangerous part? Are you guys fucking serious? Are you guys fucking serious? We're censoring art and you think the art is part of the problem? What the hell is happening to the UK? Every time I think like some people might be exaggerating about the free speech issues in the UK and then we keep getting stories like this. Right. I'm hoping like we're misunderstanding Quilliam because if Quilliam is saying this, then we have lost it. Like, I mean, abandon ship, everybody. Um, well, you know, I just really want to make sure everybody heard me that this is just the head of Islamic studies, um, Usama Hassan from Quilliam, that's saying this. Um, you know, so this this is just I don't know. But, so w you mentioned some other organization at the beginning. Um, did you mention any other organizations before Quilliam? Um, no. just just the paintings by yeah. SKU and yeah. the Sahachi Gallery. Okay, so just to be clear, Quilliam is the organization that sued uh, the Southern uh, Poverty Law Center. Is that the name? SPLC. Yeah. Okay. All right. So for for considering Majid Nevels to be uh, an extremist, and they won. And that was that's a that's actually a campaign that I donated to to Quilliam because they were fighting for freedom of expression and freedom of speech and they were fighting against organizations that were trying to limit free speech, right? Limit expression. And if this is now the position that Quilliam is taking, I'm really this really saddens me. I'm hoping that we're misunderstanding. Anybody can does anybody I uh, want to clarify if they know anything about this if, because I, I want to give the Quilliam the benefit of the doubt. Um, so I'm saying I think it was in 
guys, let's keep the let's keep it about this story about the UK. Anybody, anybody wants to know if this? Okay, so Jack is saying it was Os Osama that gave a comment, not Quilliam. Uh, David, director, does not agree with it being covered. Okay, so okay, so let's be fair then. So that's so, that's what I was saying. Yeah, this you're is just one person. Okay, so you're saying this is he's when he was saying that he was not representing the organization. Well, um, he was just representing himself. Huh. Well, what we were saying something. <laughs> that that's it's kind of hard to say. It's it's like um, right now, if I were to go out and say something, you know, terrible, racist, or bigoted, uh, you know, would would you consider that? As me saying it by myself, or don't you think Atheist Republic would be affected? Atheist Republic would obviously be affected. You can't. No, but you could clarify that this is your position, not Atheist Republic. He didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't clarify. But I think Jack did let us know that David, the director, does not agree with it being covered. So this has to just be his one opinion. But it's still, in my opinion, it just doesn't look good. Right. And Jack is saying um, Osama maintains that they have the right to cover it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yes, yeah, they have the right to cover it, but. The fact that they had to give in to pressure, to me, that shows the da the uh, rising da danger of the limitations of freedom of expression in the UK, right? So for Osama to identify the painting as dangerous, rather than the fact that the paint that the museum gave in to pressure and had to cover the art, that's the dangerous part. I think when he misidentifies what's dangerous, to me, that's that's a huge red flag, right? right? The fact when people say like, oh, we have the right to cover it. Yeah, we didn't say you don't have the right to cover it. We're not talking about what you're, the, you're right. We're talking about the fact that fear and intimidation is being used as a, as a weapon for people to use their rights to but, limit okay, expression. I'm hearing an echo, by the way. Uh, that was me. Sorry. That's okay. Beach is uh, talking. Uh, okay, Beach has more information. Thank you, Beach. It's, it's great to have Beach and Jack and everyone else here and Sopan also, uh, okay. because they have they clarify things. Beach is saying Majid doesn't agree. The fact. So I think Majid is on our side when it comes to the freedom of expression. Uh, Beach is saying the fact uh, this um, spectacle uh, spectacle is the result of an overly sensitive Muslim sense of blasphemy. blasphemy we just uh, got a super chat, Armin. Oh, thank you. RPG gamer Again. guy. He says, um, or she, sorry. If you're so offended by a piece of art, you can always walk away. There is that option. It's no different than breastfeeding or than the breastfeeding argument. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. As, as an artist myself, I find any kind of, uh, uh, gallery or organization being forced or museum being forced to cover or not display art, uh, personally insulting. Like I, I want, yeah. And actually I want to see the art now. Yeah. I want to see We should, we should, okay. We should, oh, actually then we might get a copyright strike. Never mind. We, do we get a copyright? Yeah. Art is actually very sensitive to show. So we, we can't show, but go figure out what, the, um, yeah, I don't know if we can show it or not. But, but uh, Beach was making a point. She's saying this is incredibly embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, this is... Th the thing is that this is a huge win for, uh, for Muslims using us being offended as a weapon. Every time it wins, it encourages them to take more. Right? And I think the only react... The main reaction to the two people saying this is offensive you shouldn't take it down uh should always be that we're going to now do it a thousand times more just to make a point that you don't get to tell us to censor ourselves just because you're sensitive about saying something like that whenever people try to use being offended as a method to intimidate people to censor themselves that has to backfire because that weapon should not work that method should not work we have to show people that that never works in fact you're going to get the opposite result as what you were hoping for we should not give them this win this has to backfire this has to backfire or else they're going to get encouraged and they're going to keep doing it more and more you think this satisf satisfies people you think when people say oh i'm offended don't show this and you start you you censor yourself you think we're like okay good we're good now and they're going to walk away no you just signal to them that they have the power 
They're gonna go for more. Oh God, let me see what the top. Yeah. Are. You're gonna see what the top comments are. Um, this guy is saying, "Can we demand that church bells and the Muslim shouters <laughs> stay quiet because they insult uh, our atheist uh, sensibilities?" Well, I mean, the Quran. The Quor I mean, if you want to be offended by something, be offended by the Quran and the Bible. I mean, they have the most barbaric uh, teachings in them. Uh, that's that's le a legitimate source of offense. So, I mean, we <sighs> yes, the devil standard is so painful. I mean, I don't even want to make that point anymore because I've made it a million times. Like, if anything should get banned for being too offensive the Quran and the Bible would be the first on uh, underlined as things that need to be banned. Yeah. Oh, what? Wow. This is th these people are actually posting the painting. Let me see. It's on Facebook. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it, but okay. I think we're allowed to show it because we're reviewing it. Hmm. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but we have to, sh we now have to spread this everywhere because actually this one is kind of pretty. I don't know, but uh, these the, more people need to now see this art, uh, these arts because 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 they've been banned. And who's the artist? At least like, now that we're showing them, let's give credit to the artist. Do you know who the SKU. artist? Sku. Sk. That's the name of the artist. Yeah. Okay. Sku. Is there any way we could support the artist? I don't know. Okay. Maybe we could link to the art, find the artist's website or something, and just link directly to the artist's website. Just that to would support, be great. Just to support yeah. his, uh, his or her work. Uh, Muska is saying art is subjective. You can't please everyone. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. But well, and, and that's not even the point of art yeah. for most artists. Most artists don't want you to be pleased with their work. Look, if, if you don't see artwork and feel something, whether it be happiness, love, hatred, anger, if you're not feeling something, then it's ineffective, useless art. Um, and that is that is the way uh, at least the artists in my circle feel about it as well. So yes, it's subjective, but I want to see things that offend me. I want to be angered. I want to be moved to emotion when I look at art. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.